All right, guys, welcome to Todd's. All right, so this is a tutorial for, for you girls that now always check with your coach, okay? And don't ever do this unless you've, you've got somebody around. But this is just a, an idea of, of working your aerial cartwheel, okay? And some of the drills that we're using here. Once you've mastered a knee round off or a knee cartwheel, okay? Which knee cartwheels obviously are gonna be first. Matt, you want to show them a knee cartwheel real fast? Okay, you just go down and you put your cartwheel foot to the front, a nice shape to the top. All right, she's going to push through the front foot and just do a standard cartwheel, passing through the handstand position, pushing off the toes, and then obviously a finish up nice and tall and tight. Let's do one more time. Now watch what she's doing with the back foot. Now she's putting pressure on this foot here. So she's leaning into it just a little bit. She passes through and she has to snap the back foot to drive the body this direction. Once we've got the knee cartwheel down pat and they're landing good and square, okay, we're gonna start with the sliders. Now, the slider is basically for a needle kick, especially if you're working balance beam for front aerials, obviously you can't go sideways on a four inch beam. So we start with the slider on the back and I was gonna do, a, we're gonna do a slow needle kick first. She's not gonna throw the slider. She's basically just going to lean down onto the front foot and bring the back foot up towards the rear. So go slow, Matt, real slow. So she's teeing into it and driving the back foot up. This is your power foot. This is the foot that gives you that drive this direction so that way you can pull in in the chest and snap it over. So go back down. So this time we're just going to do a needle kick drill. What you want to do is you want the slider to be pushed off the ball of the foot and be driven backwards. So she starts in a good upright position, okay? Weight shift is on the back foot. Go ahead, Matt. She's gonna lever down, okay? And tee into it and snap the slider, push the handstand, come right back down. Okay, one more time. Needle kick with the slider, okay? Now this time actually drop the slider as far back as you can. Ready, one, and go. So she's snapping the slider backwards. That shows that she's pushing and driving through the foot. Now, once she gets done with that, we, we want to tune that up some by going from here just to, a, just to a standard handstand drill on the panel mat and forward roll off. Good. Once she gets done, she's going to finish in a nice, stiff, but forward position in the chest, rounding out into her shoulders. The next one you can actually do is the actual aerial drill, a one hand cartwheel using the panel mat, okay? So she's gonna start on the panel mat, she's gonna step out using one hand, the opposite hand preferred, okay? So she's a righty, she's gonna use her left hand. If she's a lefty, she's gonna use her right hand. If you're not comfortable with that, get used to going with two hands until you can work your way to the single hand. All right, buddy, go ahead. She's pushing through the shoulders. And then after that, we want to move on actually to the aerial. But each one of these is step by step by step. You don't want to just, oh, well, I can do this, so I'm going to try the aerial. You want to get that good heel snap. Okay, Matt, you ready? Good. Now, this is on the dead floor. A lot of gymnasts are going to be used to a spring floor. Right, so on a dead floor, you're gonna, you're gonna hear more impact. So like I said, have a coach with you. Use a crash mat like the blue one over here or right there to get something soft to get you used to landing on it. So hope this video helps. Next, we're gonna go to the tuck drills. So we'll see you again soon.